This battle has been relentless. But finally, nature has given firefighters a helping hand. Cooler temperatures are allowing them to get a grip and slow its spread. We're about 20 kilometres from the edge of Fort McMurray and still they are battling the flames. What they say they need is prolonged rainfall, but that's something they've not had here for over two months. Three hours south in the hamlet of Lac La Biche, a sports centre has become a temporary home and supermarket for thousands of evacuees. In a few hours, Sarah Smith will be a mum. She just decorated the baby's room, but now her home has been destroyed. It was really stressful at first, but I mean, we're going to have a new joy in our lives tomorrow, so it's, it's kind of used our minds a little bit for sure. But this centre is not a long-term solution. The big thing is to get them into some little more settled, get the kids back in school, because there's another two months of school. Um, just some normalcy to, the, to, to what's happening. And they're under stress. They're, they're traumatised, a lot of the people. The worst of the fire may be over, but there is still work to do before the residents of this city can once again call it home. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Black La